What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Pod 101. <laughs> Yeah, we back in the building. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. You feel me? We are back in the building for another Power 101 ish video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, listening, and watching. We are back again for another one. And uh, we got a great one for you today. Uh, but before we get into all that, I want to say thank you to everybody that continues to subscribe to the po- uh, to our channel. Excuse me, I'm such a podcaster. <laughs> but uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, over 120 subscribers, over 90,000 views. We thank you for the just, just, just the love and the support, and we thank you so, 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 so much. Tell a friend, tell a friend, subscribe, subscribe, share, like, and subscribe. All right, listen, we're back with another one, and we are going to talk about today what makes a great podcast producer. First of all, we're going to discuss what is a podcast producer, right? And then I have a, f- a few key points on what makes a great podcast producer. So let's get into it. All right. What is a podcast producer? Right. So if you if you even think about the 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 producer word. Producers are what? Managers, right? So basically, you're a podcast manager. But a podcast producer is so much more than that. You think about a radio producer or a producer for a radio show, think about that in a more open form right they are the editors of the audio and the video they are the ones who um edit and write uh your show notes and your descriptions they are the ones who um are monitoring and researching and uh you know supporting your show right and sometimes they're the ones that you know are sometimes your co-hosts um, in the background on the show. Right. And so, you know, a podcast producer is somebody who is basically your manager, the one who manages not only your podcast, but in a sense, you for the podcast. Right. And so they have to kind of keep the and not even kind of they have to make sure that everything is going right and in alignment with your podcast. So these are four, maybe four things that um make a, a great podcast producer. Number one, knowing the podcast tech and equipment. Now, there's a lot of podcast tech and equipment out here in these podcast streets. Do you hear me? And I know ever since kind of, and I'll call it the podcast boom of 2019 and beyond, um, we've seen so many more kind of tech companies um, kind of cater their equipment to podcasting because of this podcast boom. And so there's kind of an oversat- uh, oversaturation, excuse me, of um, equipment and, um, you know, tech and, and, and you know, hosting platforms to put your podcast on. There's so much. And a podcast producer, a great one, knows where to go for you particularly right see when you bring your podcast and what you want how you want pricing and what that looks like for you you know a podcast producer is always going to make sure they vet and filter out which hosting platforms such as asha buzzsprout anchor lipson which video hosting platforms such as restream Streamyard, riverside and which audio uh, editing platform such as Descript or um, um, the old school Audacity, right? Which ones are going to work for you? Which ones are going to bring the best quality for you? So knowing the tech and the equipment um, is one thing that for sure makes a great podcast producer. Number two, experience is key. It is so key. Um, Being an independent podcaster and producer experience is it's 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 unavoidable right you have to know you have to learn that and let me say that over my podcasting journey over the last six years i've had to gain my experience um through watching through learning through multiple youtube videos and let me just say youtube is not to be played with right when it comes to actually learning um kind of the tricks of trade of you know audio editing and video editing and what that looks like and not just on your computer 
right? Not just through Adobe, but other platforms that are really, really good. So again, it's not all again. It goes back to knowing the tech and the, 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 the equipment experience is key because you kind of have to fail as a, as a producer, you have to fail in every arena. You have to fail, but as a producer right now, you have to fail. You have to fail at some of these apps or some of these platforms or some of these softwares that, you know, um, sometimes aren't that great. But then you find one that works for you that you um, can have for your, you know, plethora or your clients, uh, your podcast clients, excuse me, that um, that are with you. So experience is so key. Um, in this podcasting game because a lot of people call themselves producers but do not have the experience to go with it okay number three most important for real is to do your research please please do your research listen i try to make sure and i still work on this to this day doing the research is so key and is so vital especially in our culture right now we have the, the fake news boom has been so, so, so prevalent. And it's not to say fake news hasn't been out here, but doing the research, making sure that you are looking at multiple sources, not just one, but multiple sources to get a, a, a congruent and, 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 and kind of balanced out synergy for your show, right? Because see, if it, if it goes one way, then, you know, sometimes it, well, depending on how your show goes, right, it could go good. But a balance, making sure that you're doing the research, making sure, again, that you're filtering out what's fake and what's not. Making sure that you're doing the research not only for the topics of the show, but also for the last two that we just discussed, the tech, the podcasting equipment. Heck, you got to sometimes when you don't even have the experience right away, you have to research people who have that experience, i.e. YouTubing folks, i.e. maybe seeing what a friend or a colleague is doing with their podcast or a, or, or, or a suggestion or a podcast producer that they have already, that they're working with already. Right. And this is just not for podcast producers. I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm really speaking this in general. If you if you if you are looking as a podcast producer singly like myself or you're looking to outsource. Not you have to do your research, not only just the podcast producer have to do the research, but you have to research the podcast producer as well. Vetting. Right. That is research. Making sure that the company as a podcast producer, that the company that I am keeping is OK. Right. And vice versa. So make sure that you're doing your research across the board. Right. And lastly, support the podcast and the host. I feel like that's easy. I feel like that's the easiest one. Right. You've seen a lot more podcasters, uh, podcast producers, in a, in a sense, come to the forefront. Not only just being on the, you know, the gizzards and the gadgets and everything like that, producing, researching, giving the topics and, you know, doing all the background noise and all that good stuff. But they're actually becoming the hosts in a sense, the co-hosts, right? We don't necessarily have to know them. We don't necessarily have to um, see them, but we hear their voices. And that is what makes a great podcast. So, it's, And it's just not just that, but it's supporting the podcast and the host beyond sometimes what you're just doing. Because if a host sees that you are invested into the podcast and their baby and their platform, even a fraction of what they are, yo, I can tell you from experience, that is, that is, that makes us happy. That makes us happy. So literally, support the podcast and the host. Do your research. Experience is vital. Don't be afraid to fail. Know the podcast tech and equipment. All right? And I believe that's what makes a great podcast host. Continue to try, too, and don't give up, literally, all right? Listen, guys, I love you. I thank you. Y'all be good. Y'all stay easy. We'll be back with another video next week, Scam Likely, of course. You feel me? Because I can't have y'all out here getting scammed like this. <laughs> you feel me? So y'all be good. Stay easy. And uh, we'll be back next week.
for another one. All right. Again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back. I love you guys. Peace.